In the year 2016, in the heart of the Caribbean, a sudden and unexplained illness began to permeate the air. This was not a virus, nor was it a common sickness. It was something far more peculiar, striking government officials with an almost uncanny precision. This enigma, this puzzling medical conundrum, came to be known as the Havana Syndrome. Indications of this mysterious syndrome first surfaced among embassy staff in Cuba. The initial symptoms were as cryptic as they were varied. Headaches, sleeplessness, and an inexplicable sense of unease. As the months rolled on, the situation only worsened. More severe cases emerged, necessitating immediate medical intervention. But the question on everyone's lips was the same. What was causing this strange illness? One individual who found himself embroiled in this mystery was a CIA doctor known as Dr. Paul Andrews. He had been investigating the syndrome, trying to unravel its secrets. But in a twist of fate, Dr. Andrews himself started to exhibit symptoms of the syndrome. Ear pain, nausea, headache, and balance issues plagued him, with lasting effects on his balance and vision. The investigator had become a victim, despite tireless efforts. The exact cause of the Havana syndrome remains shrouded in mystery. Early hypotheses such as sonic attacks have been ruled out. The leading theory now suggests that pulsed electromagnetic energy or microwaves could be potential causes. However, not all experts are in agreement. The symptoms, ranging from brain fog and insomnia to more severe neurological issues, are still being studied, and the long-term effects are yet to be fully understood. In an attempt to support those affected by this enigmatic condition, President Biden allocated $30 million for victim support. Yet the syndrome continues to affect hundreds of US officials overseas, leaving a trail of questions in its wake. The Havana syndrome is a stark reminder of the unknowns that still exist within our world. It underscores the importance of continued research and vigilance in the face of such inexplicable phenomena. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the Havana Syndrome, we must remain informed, vigilant, and proactive in our quest for understanding. The answers are out there, waiting in the shadows. The question is, are we ready to step into the light to find them?